What's up, Joystick News Gang? Today, I'm diving deep into the nostalgic yet frustrating streets of Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas. Ah, San Andreas, a game that promised so much freedom, yet somehow managed to handcuff my enjoyment with its PS2-era mechanics and a linear mission structure that feels more like a straitjacket than an invitation to explore. Let's break down this roller coaster experience and ponder what Rockstar could do to truly elevate GTA Roman 6 to the legendary status we all crave. The Alluring Chaos of GTA GTA has always been that wild child of the gaming world, offering a sandbox so vast and chaotic that it's impossible not to get lost in the mayhem. From launching off buildings to evading five-star wanted levels, the freedom to cause havoc was the series' most alluring chaos. Yet, despite its open-world allure, the franchise never quite managed to strike a chord with me on an emotional level. It was more of a digital playground for destruction than a narrative journey I felt compelled to follow. A late bloomer to the story. It wasn't until GTA V that I finally saw a GTA story to its end. But even then, the narrative felt like an afterthought, overshadowed by the sheer fun of its open-world anarchy. This indifference to the series' storytelling led me on a quest to discover what made earlier titles so innovative with San Andreas as my chosen time machine. Unfortunately, what awaited me was a trip filled with more frustration than nostalgia. The Definitive Edition debacle. First off, getting my hands on San Andreas was a quest in itself. The original PS2 version is like a relic of a bygone era, replaced by the so-called Definitive Edition that, let's be honest, feels more like a downgrade than an upgrade. Bugs, botched visuals, and a stripped-away art direction left me yearning for the original. Yet, curiosity and a Netflix subscription led me to give this remastered version a shot on my iPad, and boy, was it a mixed bag. The good, the bad, and the janky. On one hand, playing San Andreas on a modern device was amusing. The newly added lighting brought a touch of nostalgia, and the touch controls were surprisingly intuitive. But the charm quickly faded as I delved into the missions. Rockstar's blueprint for GTA missions, with its linear approach and lack of player agency, turned what should have been thrilling escapades into exercises in frustration. A restrictive experience. Missions like chasing Freddy on a motorcycle highlighted the game's biggest flaws, unintuitive mechanics, and a rigid mission structure that refused to acknowledge any creativity and approach. The game insisted on a specific sequence of events, turning potentially exciting moments into repetitive, rage-inducing loops of failure. The Verdict A world of missed opportunities. Despite its iconic status, San Andreas felt like a missed opportunity. The vibrant world of Grove Street and its surrounding chaos was captivating, but the dated mechanics and restrictive gameplay kept me from fully immersing myself in the experience. It's a stark reminder that freedom in an open world means little when the story and missions hold you back with invisible chains. Looking ahead, the future of GTA. As we anticipate GTA Roman 6, I can't help but hope Rockstar takes notes from their past. The franchise needs more than just a graphical overhaul or a bigger map. It needs a reimagined approach to storytelling and mission design that respects player agency and creativity. GTA Roman 6 has the potential to be a generation-defining game, but only if Rockstar is willing to break free from the formula that's beginning to show its age. Final thoughts. So, there you have it, folks. My journey through San Andreas was a reminder of the series' strengths and its glaring weaknesses. As we look forward to GTA Roman 6, Let's hope for a game that not only pushes the boundaries of open-world immersion, but also connects with us on a deeper level, offering true freedom not just in the world it creates, but in the stories it allows us to live. What are your thoughts on San Andreas and your hopes for GTA Roman 6? Drop your comments below and let's get the discussion rolling. Until next time, keep gaming, and let's hope the next GTA is as revolutionary as we all want it to be. Joystick News, signing off.